So I wasn't going to make any more videos to post on YouTube uh, about the election coming up. Um, I was going to just leave it alone and my last video being the last video. Um, and letting that all sit in uh, with everybody. That was until last night when we got information about Donald Trump going out there, uh, not on camera, of course, but talking to his, his, um, his team um, back in 2016. Literally going out there and saying that he wishes he had the generals that Adolf Hitler had. Praising Hitler and his generals. Donald Trump, if I'm not mistaken, literally said, I think Hitler did some things right. When is enough enough? When are you going to wake up and realize this man wants dictatorship? He wants to be a dictator. He said he would be a dictator on day one. And what kind of dictator would give up a power? On day two, I'll give it up. No. He wants to lock up political opponents... He said that he would go after people utilizing the military. He said he would cancel out news stations that he doesn't like just because he doesn't like them. Taking away the freedom of speech, right? I thought that was something that they believed in. Talks about the enemy from within. This man continues to be one of the worst people ever. This man told a family. Um, I don't remember the family's name. Um, I, I would, again, always recommend you to do your research because, you know, I don't come prepared with, like, notes. Um, I just go off of, you know, what I've heard uh, that, I can, that, I, that I can confirm from people that I trust. A woman was killed. Uh, a woman who served in the military was killed. And Donald Trump said on camera to the family that I will take care of the legal expenses, uh, of, of the funeral expenses, excuse me. And they said they appreciate that, but they think that the, mil that the army or military, whichever one they said, but basically the same thing, is going to take care of it. And Donald Trump asked uh, one of the people on his uh, team back in uh, 2016, when he was, it was either 2016 or 2017, one of the two when he was in office. He said to them, did they send us a bill? And he said, and the person said, yes, they did. Donald Trump asked how much did they uh, ask for? And he said, $60,000. Donald Trump said it does not cost $60,000 to bury a fucking Mexican. That woman wasn't just a Mexican. She was a soldier. But does that matter to Donald Trump? Of course it doesn't. Because he doesn't give a damn about our military. He looks at the military as people that he can use to just send out and put the fear of Trump in people. Because you always hear the fear of God, right? No. Because Trump believes in his own hype. He believes so much. I am the chosen one. I am your savior. I am your messiah. 
That's basically how, how Trump views himself. Because so many view him that way. When are, when are you going to wake up? And I don't mean to come across like I'm attacking at all. But I'm sorry. How can, how can you support this? Why do you not question it? It is wrong. It is so wrong. So many people have a hard time being able to make a make an easy choice. Kamala Harris is everything that Donald Trump is not. Donald Trump is not a compassionate man. Donald Trump is not kind. Donald Trump is not going to help America. Donald Trump will hurt America. He already is. This is a man who continues to spread lies about Springfield, Ohio. Saying, I don't know if it's fat. I don't know if it's uh, if it's uh, been proven. What about the geese, the goose? Just lie after lie after lie. Hate after hate after hate after hate. Divide after divide after divide after divide. This man is no hero. This man is not someone to be celebrated. This man is a threat to democracy. And people want to ask the Democrats to turn down the rhetoric. Maybe if Donald Trump... <laughs> Maybe Donald Trump should turn down his own rhetoric. Apologize to the people that he has hurt. Apologize to the people that he's lied to. But he can't do that. He can't do that. Because if he apologizes, then it shows he was lying. Because if he apologizes, it means everyone was right. And he was wrong. And in Donald Trump's world, he's never wrong. He's always right. It is exhausting. It is tiring. But I think most important, it's sad. It's so sad that people remain undecided. And it's so sad that people who say they care about our military are willing to, to vote for Donald Trump, who doesn't care about the military. People who say they care about the First Amendment. Donald Trump wants to go out and silence news networks that he does not like. He wants to revoke their license just because they said something mean about him. I thought you were tough, Donald, but you're just the crybaby bitch that you are. This election should not be hard. And I think that I'm not giving enough credit to the people who probably already know who they're going to vote for on election day. Because I think there are many people that already know that they're going to vote for Kamala Harris. I think there are people that are just waiting to see what else Donald Trump says before they make their final choice. But I implore you, 
to stop trying to wait for this guy to be normal. Stop trying to give him the benefit of the doubt. Stop trying to sane wash him. Stop trying to say that's Trump being Trump. Stop trying to say he was just joking. Stop making excuses for Donald Trump. He wouldn't give a damn about you. So why should you give a damn about trying to help him? Donald Trump continues to praise Putin. He literally said that Ukraine started the war with Russia. I'm not getting animated. I'm not getting angry. I know people are tired about me talking about it. Because here's the truth about how I feel. I do believe Kamala Harris is going to win. But I think the thing that upsets me so much is the fact that even after Kamala Harris wins, there's still going to be so many people who are going to fall for the lies. This was stolen. This was rigged. Donald Trump this. Donald Trump that. MAGA, 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 MAGA. Because some of them just do not listen to reason, will not listen to facts. They won't trust anybody but Trump. No matter how much it hurts them, they won't do it. This is why I say that Donald Trump is one of the worst things that has ever happened in America. He doesn't get physical. He doesn't dirty his own hands. When he wants something done, he sends everybody else to do it. He sends other people to go to jail on his behalf. He sends other people to lose their license, their law licenses on his behalf. He sends other people to storm the Capitol and cause the chaos and try to stop the count on his behalf. Donald Trump never soils his own hands. He doesn't get his own hands dirty. He makes other people do it. And his influence is it it is people just who continue to shout and say the nastiest things out there. He created the division. He created the divide. He created the hate. I don't remember when President Obama was president. When Barack Obama was president. I don't remember this much hate. I don't remember it. But when Donald Trump took office, things began to change. And not for the better. You start seeing some of the worst people come out. The name calls. The threats. The little actual attacks. Don't we deserve better? Don't we deserve some normality? And look. I don't know. If after we vote for Kamala Harris to win, and I hope to God that she does, I don't know if we're going to get that normalcy. But I do know this. If 
Donald Trump wins, it's only going to get worse. It will not get better. It will get worse. And here's the thing that maybe you can hope for. If Kamala Harris wins the election, Donald Trump will have lost the 2020 election and he'll have lost the 2024 election. That will hurt the Republicans. It will hurt MAGA. Because as much as they want to cling to Donald Trump, when you've lost twice in a row, maybe it sends the message that the guy that you backed is the wrong horse. And maybe it's time to look for a new direction. And so, I don't know how much things will change with Kamala Harris as president, but I do know it is what we need. At this point, you probably have done your own research. You know what she's offering. I'm not here to give you a long, long video talking about the differences between these two. I just wanted to tell you about the dirty, the dirty bastard Donald Trump. Praised Adolf Hitler and wants his generals to be like Hitler's generals. Defiant or obedient and just loyal to Trump, not to the law. I saw somebody say on social media before in a video, they talk about Donald Trump wanting to be a dictator. Well, when he was in office for four years, why didn't he act like a dictator then? Because that time around, Trump actually was slightly following the law. He was listening to people. Yeah, slightly. But you know what he said? Maybe I listened to the wrong people. He also said, Maybe I was too nice the first time around. You think that Donald Trump has gotten better over the years? He's gotten worse. January 6th. That was a tease of what Donald Trump wants from America. Donald Trump wants America to be what he wants it to be. Not what our country represents and stands for. Donald Trump wants to shape America into whatever the hell he decides it to be. And we can't stand for that. Why do you think there are so many Republicans, actual good Republicans, that are endorsing and voting for Kamala Harris. Because they believe in her. They may not agree with the policies, but they trust in her to respect the job of the presidency and to protect the American citizens. Donald Trump will not. Donald Trump would destroy our relationship with our allies. Yeah, you wanna know how Donald Trump would end the war in Ukraine and Russia? He just won't send any more money to Ukraine. And that is not something you should celebrate. You shouldn't ask for, yeah, just take your money out. What does Ukraine need the money for? They need it to take care of the tyrant Vladimir Putin Putin started the war don't forget that this war has been long and it's been hard but you know what you know who suffers more from that the Ukrainians 
Not one American soldier, to my knowledge, has been sent out to Ukraine to fight in that war. Ukraine has only asked for financial aid. They have not asked for American soldiers to be put out there. They're taking care of business on their, on their land with their people. All they've been asking for is just the backing of other countries out there. Sounds reasonable to me. Donald Trump wouldn't care. Want to know why? Putin. Because Donald Trump loves Vladimir Putin. Donald Trump is a wannabe dictator. And it's time to stop pretending that he is not. We don't say he's a threat to democracy just because it gives us brownie points. It gives the Democrats brownie points. It makes them look like the more sane side. We say he's a threat to democracy to really put it on full display exactly who he is. Because he doesn't care. He doesn't fucking care. Dictatorship does not belong in America. This type of division, hate, and racism should not be in America. There's always going to be, you know, just people who say the worst things out there. Sure. But I don't recall it ever being this bad. And we need to put a stop to it. The only way that we could put a stop to it is by shutting down Donald Trump. We need to put him in his place, keep him out of the White House. And we need to show his supporters, this guy that you've been backing, he doesn't belong anymore. So it's time to start a new chapter. You may not like the Democrats, but the Democrats are the ones who are promising to work for unity, to, you know, work with Democrats and Republicans. This is the part that frustrates me. I hate having to feel like I'm so one-sided. Democrats good. Democrats yum 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 yum. Only good. The Democrats are the only only good guys. And the Republicans out there, eh, they're not the good guys. I would love to listen to both sides. But the problem, so many Republicans are just ass kissers to Donald Trump. And they just say the same shit over and over. Talk about the border. Create a border bill. Shut down the border. Well, fuck. You fucked us. All because Donald Trump called the phone and said, kill it. They said, okay, yes, sir, Mr. Donald Trump, sir. That's what they do. Because they don't serve the country. They serve a cult. They serve the, they, they serve the king. They serve the cult leader. They serve Donald J. Trump. They don't serve you, the American people. They serve him. Donald Trump. And that's not what it should be. That's not how it should be. But that's what they have become. And again, there are certain Republicans out there that are actually still believe in doing what's right for the American people. We may not agree on every single policy, but in this election, many of us can agree that Donald Trump is not fit for the office, should never be in the office. He will be worse than he was his first time around. Because the Supreme Court gave him presidential immunity and you think he won't abuse that, you're not paying attention. 
it's time to start paying attention. Stop cutting him some breaks. Stop it. Donald Trump is the old guy in the in the election now. You didn't want the old guy, Joe Biden? Okay. We changed. We put in Kamala Harris. But you kept on being the same. It didn't change. And so now, we're going to look to turn the page and get Kamala Harris to the presidency. And we're going to end the potential dictatorship of Donald Trump. I'm not angry. I'm numb to it at this point. Because this is what we expect. There is no low that Donald Trump does not cross. There is no line that he won't cross. Donald Trump is the scum of the earth, a threat to democracy. And in this election, we're going to protect democracy by keeping him out. So I urge you to make your plan on where you're going to go when you're gonna vote. I urge you if you're undecided Please, we need you. I, I've always been someone who believes I'm not telling the people that you must do this. You must vote for Kamala Harris. I always like to express that you have a choice to make in the election. And you're free to make your own choice. But your choice matters. Your vote matters. What you do matters. And so I urge the people who may be undecided to please do your research, but be smart about where you get your information from. Because in the day of social media that we live in right now, it's very easy to get the misinformation and disinformation. I mean, you've heard me talk about this before, but I mean, I highly recommend Brian Tyler Cohen's channel. You know, even look at uh, Jesse Delabor. I, I listen to Jesse a lot as well, too. Those people are the ones who, you know, could explain things a lot better than I could. This is, this is just. This election needs to be won. And I have hope for the right outcome to be won by Kamala Harris. And my hope is that with this victory... Maybe, just maybe we can get to some normalcy back in America. Because we need it. We need the healing. We need the coming together, not the division. When people were attacked by the, the hurricanes, kind of feels sounds kind of feels weird to say attacked, but when people were struggling after the hurricanes hit, people were still there was still division because Donald Trump continued to lie and said there was no help, not enough help going down there. When people don't need that kind of stress and people are trying to get their life back together after they lost some of their shit to the hurricanes, Donald Trump didn't care. He used it to his own political gain. He does not care about people. And this... I'm just tired of it. I'm tired of people trying to cut this guy a break. He doesn't deserve it. He doesn't care about you. He's running for president because he's running from the law. Because finally, his criminal days are catching up with him. And he needs to face justice for it. But if he gets elected president, 
he's going to try to get rid of all of his court cases. And who's going to stop him? Who the fuck is going to stop him? And so, I tell you, we should have hope. We should be excited to vote and ready to vote. For me personally, Kamala Harris. I think it's just I think it's just still so sad how so many people though struggle to see the evil, the vile, the convicted felon, the liar, the man found liable for sexual assault. On on Eden Carroll. How do you support this? How do you support a guy who wants generals who served Adolf Hitler? Who, who, uh, who wants his generals to be like the ones who served under Adolf Hitler? Praising Nazis. Praising Putin. Praising Adolf Hitler. How can you want that? How can you vote for that? I just truly believe it's because people just are not paying full attention to what's being said. Because with Donald Trump, there is so much bullshit out there. People have a hard time being able to take it all in. But even if you have a hard time taking in everything, where's the point where you draw the line? When do you say enough is enough? Today should be that day. Today should be that day that you say you've had enough. You can't support this man who was praising dictators. You can't support this man who wants to be a dictator. You shouldn't. That's not American at all. It's not. We deserve better. And we can do better. So let's get this vote. Harris Walls, 2024. Make your plan on how to vote. Check where you can vote. If you want to vote early, go for that. You can also mail in your vote if you've gotten uh, your mail-in ballot. There are options out there. Please do it. This election is worth voting for. You have that power. Don't let people tell you that your vote doesn't matter. Your vote matters. Your choice matters. You matter. The decision that you make matters. So, again, it's your choice on what you decide. But I've always said this. The choice is so clear. And it should be so obvious. Let's send Donald Trump to stay home. Don't go back to the White House. Because you don't fucking deserve it. You piece of shit. Donald Trump, that's what you are. Miserable, crybaby, little fuck. <laughs>